wonder what he's trying to do. Well, hello there. I'm Horace. It's good to see the light of the day after such a long time. Things sure have changed. What year is it? It's the 21st century and my name is JC. 21st century. Oh wow. Hi JC. Glad to have met you. So, any particular reason you wanted to see me? I just saw this picture and was curious to know what you were doing. I thought it was quite obvious. I am measuring the distance around this pyramid. Oh please, what kind of a way is this to measure anything? Pardon me. I, a descendant of the ancient Egyptians, inventors of the royal Egyptian cubit, the first unit for measuring length, pride myself on knowing a thing or two about measurement. Cubit? What's that? I just told you. It is the first unit ever to measure length. Horus, don't be angry. I want to know more about you. That's why I called you here. Now will you please tell me what the cubit was? The royal Egyptian cubit is the length of the forearm. That is from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger. What? I mean, how could you rely on the length of your arm to measure length? Everybody's arm is of a different size. Not just the arm, JC. Hands, fingers and feet were used to. Did you not just see me in the picture, walking all around that pyramid to find out how many of my feet the distance around it was? What? Walking all around the edge of a pyramid? That must have been tiring. Yes, it was. But that was how it was done in those days. I was asked to measure the perimeter of the pyramid. And so, I did by walking all around it. Perimeter? Perimeter. The total distance around the edge of any shape. Oh, tell me more, Horace. You want to learn more about perimeter, JC? Yes, I do. And I wouldn't have anybody else but you, a descendant of the ancient Egyptians, inventors of the royal Egyptian cubit. Teach me. Well then, I would be happy to help. Perimeter is the total distance around any surface. You can find the perimeter of any shape, be it your room, your notebook or a field. You can even find the perimeter of your hand. That's great! But how do I find the perimeter of these objects? By using my hands, feet or fingers like you used to? <laughs> no, JC. Thankfully, things are not as hard as they were in those days. Now, you can perform a few simple calculations and you will be able to find the perimeter of any object. You want to know how? Yes. The perimeter of an object is the total distance around it. This means that the perimeter of an object is the sum of the length of all its sides. Easy, isn't it? Yes, it does sound simple, Horace. Let's go find out how to measure the perimeter of various shapes. How do you find out the perimeter of a square, Horace? A square has four equal sides. To find out the perimeter of a square, all you need to do is add the length of its sides together. This square has sides of length 4 cm each. The perimeter of this square is 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm. Or we can say that the perimeter of this square 
is 4 centimeters multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Aha! The perimeter of this square is 16 centimeters. Exactly. So remember this. The perimeter of a square is the length of its side multiplied by 4. Now, let's find out the perimeter of a rectangle. What can you tell me about the length of the sides of a rectangle, JC? Uh, the opposite sides of a rectangle are of equal length. Correct! So, to find out the perimeter of a rectangle, all you need to do is measure one length and one breadth. The perimeter of the rectangle would be the sum of all four of its sides. This is the same as 2 multiplied by its length added to 2 multiplied by its breadth. Let's calculate the perimeter of this rectangle. The length is 4 cm and the breadth is 2 cm. So, the perimeter is 2 multiplied by 4 added to 2 multiplied by 2. Which is 8 plus 4, that is 12. The perimeter of this rectangle is 12 centimeters. Well, that was simple, wasn't it? Yes, it was. What about the perimeter of a triangle, Horace? You read my mind, JC. That's what I was going to show you next. Let's go find out about how to measure the perimeter of a triangle. A triangle can be an equilateral triangle like this one. Can you tell me what an equilateral triangle is? An equilateral triangle has three sides having equal length. Exactly! To find out the perimeter of an equilateral triangle, all you need to do is multiply the length of one of its sides by 3. Can you tell me the perimeter of this triangle, JC? The perimeter of this triangle is 5 cm multiplied by 3, that is 15 cm. Now, what if the lengths of all three sides of your triangles were different? In that case, simply add the lengths of all three sides together. That simple! Yes, the perimeter of this triangle would be 4 cm plus 5 cm plus 6 cm. That is 15 cm. Very good! Wow, Horace! That was great! Oh, it was nothing, JC. Now, come on! Why don't you show me around your house? So, can I find the perimeter of any shape? Yes, you can! Just add together the lengths of all the sides of that shape and you'll have the perimeter. So the perimeter of this poster with six sides will be the length of all six of its sides added together. Exactly! This poster has six sides. That means it is a hexagon. Its perimeter will be the length of all its sides added together. Cool! Hmm, you seem to know perimeter now. But... Can you tell me this? What if I told you that the perimeter of this rug is 200 centimeters? Can you tell me the length of any one of its sides? Um, this rug is square in shape. Yes, go on. So if the perimeter of this rug is 200 centimeter, that means that the length of the side of the rug multiplied by 4 is 200 centimeter. Go on. 
So to find out the length of one side of the rug, we should divide the perimeter by 4. The length is 200 divided by 4. That is 50 centimeters. Oh, very good. Very, very good. I bow to you, JC. You know everything about perimeter now. <laughs> Thanks, Horace. Now, how about taking me out so I can see what your world looks like? Let's go and let me warn you, there'll be no pyramids there. So, did you have fun learning about perimeter? Let's revise what we just learned. Perimeter is the length or distance around the edge of a given figure or shape. The perimeter of a square is the length of its side multiplied by 4. The perimeter of a rectangle is 2 multiplied by its length added to 2 multiplied by its breadth. The perimeter of an equilateral triangle is the length of its side multiplied by 3. The perimeter of a triangle with sides of unequal length is the sum of the length of its three sides. <laughs>